Hello everyone, my name's Bob Mitch and welcome back to some more Star Citizen 3.2 PTU goodness. CIG pushed out the latest I build of the 3.2 PTU last night and with it carried a significant amount of bug fixes and changes. There was some more variation added for the mining mechanics with ore variation and placement, changes to mission rewards, damage increase for ship weapons although the power requirement was increased as a result, the Sabre Raven got a balance pass for its EMP and the 600i can now carry cargo. CIG also fixed the major bug people were experiencing getting stuck in the pilot seats of their ships. It does still happen but you kind of get kicked out as you can see from when I was touching down at Levski here. So that obviously needs another quick look. The Mustang ships however along with the Gravlev bikes have been removed from the current build because they were causing issues. Visually, the biggest thing in this patch, however, was the addition of legacy armours. So we had some more armour scattered around and location changes for certain pieces. So I'll show you a quick look now. At Olisar, we have the legacy UEE marine armour in all three flavours for you to purchase, giving a slightly different look to the ones we're used to. These can be purchased in the kiosk, as can the RSI flight suits that they physically replaced on the mannequins in the store. Grimhex, there's been some changes too. The Microid armour, the Tuscan Raider armour, is no longer here and instead we have the Lynx set with the Oracle helmet here, as well as this insane heavy samurai-like Citadel set. Again, all can be purchased from the kiosks. Next to that is, well, blatantly this set's not quite finished. This is the Inquisitor set, at the moment it makes you look like a pink Master Chief, but at least you can stroll around Olisar looking fabulous. At Levski, we can see our favourite Sandy Pirate sets, as well as the Microid set, which seems to have taken up residence here for now as well. On this end, we have another pink Master Chief, and the Lynx set shows up again. As with Olisar, the RSI flight suits that were on the mannequins can be found in the kiosks. Interestingly, CIG had put in the patch notes that they had added variations of the Venture flight suit into this build as well. But unless I'm an idiot and then overlook something incredibly simple, which is entirely possible, I haven't been able to find them anywhere, nor any menu to customise the default white one that I know and love so well. Oh well. One nice thing to note finally is that depending on the server you can get some incredible performance now. Just after the patch had landed and before CIG turned on extended logging, myself and a few of the sync members hopped on to find that we were getting 90 to 120 FPS in Olisar alone. Watching the server chat was quite funny because we were all waiting for the catch and for something to happen. It isn't quite that high now, but here's hoping we get those lovely performance tweaks implemented to make things smoother until we get bind calling and container streaming in 3.3. That's all for now then everybody, thank you for watching and I'll be sure to keep hammering out the updates, I hope you all have a good weekend. I'll see you later on.